Hello, it's 360 Shop Blog and Roll, and today I've had a full day, as you can see, and it is, um, actually got a few times, a few opportunities to record, but none of the video quality was very good today, and so I'm wrapping up my day now, finishing up a project I'm doing for my daughter, um, and her um, birthday is coming up very soon, and what I wanted to do, I'll show you here, I'm going to move the camera down. I'm actually working on a little project for her. It's a it's a birthday tablecloth. I know you're wondering what the heck that is, but this is what it is. It's actually a little project I love to bring out for her every year. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and put her happy birthday. You can see the stenciling I've done already. Sorry, you get to see my light fixture and the tablecloth. But um, what I'm doing is putting this out every year so all the people who attend her birthday party um, over a 10 year period, we'll get to see all the friends that she's made, family that's been able to visit and be here for her birthday and celebrate her each year. Um, and if we're in a different location, I'm, my goal is to bring this with us and put memories down. So by the time she's 10, we get a full like experience to see all the things and people that have been there to support her. And I'd love to take her on a nice picnic, um, hoping that the weather is nice. Obviously, I don't know what it's going to be like 10 years from now. But that's what we're doing, and so I'm going to take you with me. I've got my stencils out. I spent some time today. I went to this store to get a few of these things for this project. It's really not hard to do, and for those of you moms out there who are looking for something that's kind of sentimental, I always try to find something that's sort of meaningful when I do things for my kid, my daughter, uh, or our kids. I think that this is a cool project. So here we are. We have happy birthday, and I'm about to keep this thing down. I'm going to set it down on the tape TV, and then... Um, or excuse me, on the table, and I'm just going to finish through and show you how simple it is to stencil this stuff in. All right, here we go. All right, we've got only a few letters left. We're on C. And I'm using a light pink, not hard to get. All this stuff and all these materials you can purchase from, you know, like a Michaels or a craft store in your area, Hobby Lobby is a really good option um, for those of you in the southeast. And we have our C there. Oh, and I've made two C's here, so I'm going to make that actually an O. See, look, look at all the mistakes you make when you do things live. So since this is, uh, there we go, I'm going to make that an O. And. You know, and I try to do it, it's normally the best way to do this, and you'll see from here, I'll probably end up filling in the gaps a little bit with some decor, but it's always best to um, go from the middle of the letter, uh, the, middle of, the middle letter of the word you're trying to get centered and make that your center point rather than going from the outside in. I always overcompensate and give too much space or too much um, of an... Um, paragraph indention. Indention is the word I'm looking for. Um, and I always get into trouble. So here we are. I'm getting close here. And I'm actually going to have enough space to put her middle name here, which I'm pumped about. <clears throat> but as you see, when I started this project, I started from both centering up the actual tablecloth and going backwards from right to left. And let me find my in... Right, and I'm just dabbing it down. Pretty simple. Got these paints for like a 49 cents a piece. Really inexpensive thing to do. This tablecloth, I think I found for 10, 10, 11 bucks um, at a Target or a Target type store. All right. And I have space to give her a little middle name. And if you can't see it already, let me just shoot the camera this way. Here we go. That's it so far. I have enough space to put her middle name in. I'll just show you the stenciling. So easy to do. Um, and I've gotten her to use a few of these letters already. But it'll be a nice little project. I can't wait to see how it finishes up. Um, maybe I'll get a chance to post some pictures from after her birthday. But this is what I've been doing today. Have a good one.